See, when you're in Real, right, you don't need tactics, bro. You have all the quality in the squad. You just need your team to not get a red card in the final. That's it. And you won the game. Thoughts on Ancelotti getting tactical criticism and statements that he won't work at any other team. What do you guys think? Like, Everton coming back from Everton to Madrid, he clearly did not have a good run there. Do you think Ancelotti will actually succeed in any other team right now? Dude, do you know the last time Everton won a Merseyside derby before this season? Sean Dyche, no? Uh, I don't know. No, like, that was... Years. Palo, bro. It was Ancelotti, it was, right? Yeah, of course oh. it was Ancelotti. It was only Don Carlo. Don Carlo. Dude, he was doing a side quest in Everton. Like, somebody, <laughs> told, him, <laughs> somebody told him to just hang out here for a bit. Dude, like playing an RPG. Imagine, Everton were fucked. Like they got they after him after literally Dan Collar left they got they yeah. got points deduction they lost all their top players right and this guy I mean this guy has won a league in every country he's played in which is ridiculous to me right how do you do that that's Mourinho level shit and this is his fifth Champions League with a second different team anybody that Wait. says he he got yeah. fifth. Fifth Champions League or is it seventh? Oh, with, a, with a second different team, you're saying. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. He won five leagues, seven finals, one with two different teams. Come on. Bro. Who's I... saying he's not tactically good? Like, what else do you need on your CV but to say? What is his play style then? Like, what is like you know Guardiola has a clear play style. Like, what is what is what is Don Carlo vibes? Dude, you, mean, you, can't, you can't say it's completely vibes too, right? I mean, it, yeah. it's just that he doesn't limit players to express. So I'm I'm hundred percent sure if you transfer Vinny Junior to Man City. All he's gonna do is he's gonna do a grillish. He's gonna go up front. He he'll make sure he won't lose the ball. He won't express. He won't try to kind of uh, do some tricks or something which he learned in Brazil, whatever, right? Because grillish <laughs> was such a vibes player. He was so creative mm. with Aston Villa. Right now, look at him. I mean, yeah, there are other factors too. But the Guardiola style of football is basically where you don't lose the ball. You make sure you you give it to the you you maximize your chances or something, and you know don't take any risks in the final third and things like that. But I think what Ancelotti does very well is that he doesn't limit players. He'll just go. Mm. He'll tell them, okay, uh, yes, there is a tactical plan. I mean, it's not visible to us so much because they keep conceding so many chances um, mm. now and then. But I think what he does is he does not, you know, restrict them and say, okay, do this, do that. He'll just let, them, okay, because they, he makes them problem solve on the field. He doesn't solve it from the touchline like Guardiola does. Dude, I wanna. <clears throat> So I was digging into Don Don Carlo before this, and mm-hmm. apparently everything is done by his son David Ancelotti, and oh. David Ancelotti has followed him around for a while, mm-hmm. and he's the guy that that does all the team tactics, the coaching, like he takes care of all of that, and Ancelotti is the man manager, which is like perfect because you have all see when you're in real right you don't need tactics bro you have all the quality in the squad you just need your team to not get a red card in the final that's it and you won the game that's it <laughs> that's literally all you have to do you just have to wait for but, Cruz to pull out of that, out of nothing but that itself is the criticism right like people are saying that Ancelotti has the best team has the best players in the best team and anything you do with that team will just give you a victory so like what Ancelotti is just telling his players go out and just play, do your thing and we will win versus Guardiola on the other hand is like micromanaging every single aspect of every single player and controlling exactly yeah. how the squad is going to play so it's like polar opposite approaches so exactly how- and and see and see what Guardiola did even before winning the Champions League in last year uh, see what he did with in the 2021 Champions League against Chelsea I guess he overthought it to a point where he removed Rodri from the starting gun and played Gundogan as a Correct. defensive midfielder and that's when so, that was the worst decision I have exactly, ever seen in my life yeah. exactly and I think that, that's the thing though. See, because okay if you think of the top two teams right now in, in, in club football I think they're probably Real Madrid and Man City right in terms of players and in, in terms of talent and everything what Guardiola does he tinkers too much he goes beyond a point and he tries to kind of have everything under control. I mean, mm-hmm. and sometimes I think that he doesn't even want to win the match, but he wants to win the tactical battle more. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And I think that's yeah. where uh, Ancelotti has a good measure. Okay, 
yeah, he knows. Maybe the uh, Bamshi, the point you made, right? I think he is being more of a man management person, and his son is doing the tactics, right? I think that's where he struck the balance. It's like, yes, there are tactics. I mean, it's not visible so much, you know, especially when they play Man City because they concede so many chances. But other teams and all. Yesterday, it was very inevitable that okay, they are just soaking up all the pressure. They had Dortmund exactly where they want them to be. They are basically ruining their chances because every chance they get, every single corner they concede, they are going to think okay. If I if something happens, you know, maybe this is it. So I think he he knows exactly what he has, and he's not overdoing it. And that's the biggest mm-hmm. difference between Ancelotti and Guardiola. Sid, I want to tell you this. Yeah, Guardiola couldn't win the CL without a proper number nine. <laughs> Didn't happen. Didn't happen. We've seen it over and over here. What, who plays as striker, bro? In uh, in, in who in uh, Real Madrid? Southampton boy. There's there's no striker. <laughs> Jose Jose Lu. Lu. <laughs> yeah, but he didn't even play it yesterday, right? No, I mean, bro. If there is no tactics and you won the CL without a fucking proper striker, bro, you have like, Vinicius, on, you have bro. Bellingham, you have Rodrigo, you have like Ballon d'Or winner Modric, you have Cruz, you have this. Kama Vinga, you have a crazy backline. You, you have a you crazy have goalkeeper core to like every position is literally like top three, top two in the world, right? And <laughs> so if that is happening, even if you don't have a striker, you still have players who wanna like take the ball and do something. Like you saw yeah. the first goal that happened from Madrid, like that Vinicius he dribbled or at the byline and got the corner, like the backflip uh, dribble nutmeg that he did. Yeah. Right? No, no other player can do that. You get a corner and then like just because you have a team like that, you just score from a head. Cruise, like so, simple. Yeah, cruise control, cruise control yeah. right? Yeah. <laughs> After that, 